Hello, here we are going to get started on learning about SketchUp. So SketchUp is a tool that's uh, it's an online app. Uh, you can also get it on a desktop if you pay for it. But there's a free version for schools called SketchUp for Schools. And what SketchUp is, is it's a, a 3D environment in which you can design and model uh, things. So uh, people use SketchUp for designing 3D printing projects, uh, for designing woodworking projects, for metalworking projects, for conceptualizing all kinds of things. We're going to learn how how to use that over the next week. So what I have here, you can see the uh, screen that you get with a Chromebook. Chromebooks are is going to be what you're working on. The tutorials that we have coming up are based on uh, I think maybe one or two of them are used on a Chromebook but the rest are on a desktop so it'll be with a mouse and most of the time it's the exact same however they do differ in a little bit uh, in the navigation in SketchUp so here's how it'll look when you get into open up your Chromebook so I'm going to show you how to access Chromebook uh, how to access SketchUp how to uh, open a new model to navigate within a 3D environment and some basic tool use. Also how to save this to your Google Drive and turn it in on the on the um, Google Classroom. So first off, you're going to go to SketchUp. So uh, it's the uh, um, website is edu.sketchup.com and that should take you to it should prompt you to sign in with your MyMLake account. This app is available through only through your MyMLake account because the school district of Mystery Lake pays for uh, G Suites, which gets us access to this. So sign in with Google. And of course you get taken to your thing. So you put in your all your credentials and I think I have two-step verification oh my goodness so you have it takes a little bit of time to do all this stuff right But SketchUp is a very a very good tool to use because it will allow you to conceptualize a project that you're making before you build it. And you can share that with other uh, people that are working on the project, say. And it's very handy. I, I use it quite a bit of time in order to conceptualized projects. Some of the projects we worked on in school or in class, the woodworking, I designed with SketchUp. So uh, here are some old projects. This is opening up in, it's in my drive, in my Google Drive. This is what it looks like. Yours will be blank. You won't have anything here. But on the side here, you have home and your Google Drive, which, you know, you should know what a Google Drive is by now. If you've been using uh, Google stuff for your MyMLink account or a Google uh, Classroom. So we're going to go to create new here. So you just click on create new. So that's how you get into SketchUp. Now it opens into this 3D environment and there's always a little person standing there to give you scale so you know how big things are. This lady's just standing there to give you an idea of how big things will be. Now how in the world do you get around in here? That's the next, that's the thing I want you to know. So you can see with one finger as you move on the trackpad, you can move the uh, cursor around. And that's how you select these tools that are on the left side, how you save up here, and access these other things over here, which you'll learn about. Now, there's a few navigation things I want you to know about. If you use two fingers on the trackpad, and you'll soon see that when you move your fingers around, uh, you begin to orbit. 
This is what's called orbiting. And if you just kind of swipe side to side with two fingers, you can orbit all the way around. You can see the red, green, and blue axes changing to give you that perspective of what's three-dimensional. So go ahead and give that a try. The next thing you'll do is also using the two fingers. Here it'll ask you. You can click on trackpad so it optimizes using trackpad, yes. And um, so orbiting two fingers, if you push the control button here in the bottom left of your keyboard and use two fingers, you'll see that you zoom. You zoom wherever, wherever the uh, cursor is. So if I want to zoom on this gal's feet, I just use hold down control and two fingers on the trackpad. Now that gets us close, and then you can orbit from there. All right. Now, if you hold down shift and use two fingers, you do something called panning, which is side to side. All these tools are accessible uh, down here in the bottom corner as well, I believe. So we've got the orbit, we've got pan, and zoom, and zoom window. I think you must be able to click around the window. But the basic, um, basic navigation is all done with the trackpad. You've got your orbit with its two fingers, control, two fingers, gives you zoom. Shift and two fingers gives you pan, and that with that you can get around pretty well everything you need to do. Okay, um, navigating, we've learned that using some basic tools. On this side you'll see some basic tools. Right here you have a line, so let's just click on that and it'll open up the line tool. You see a little pencil? And you can see that there's a little square that snaps to these lines. That's just SketchUp's way of helping you connect and align to things. So I'm going to start right here at the beginning of the origin. I'm just going to click once and drag out. You can see a line going out. And I'll drag out along the uh, red axis. You go ahead and do this following along. And you can see where it turns green like that. That means I'm actually following the green axis. If I orbit, you can see that it's actually parallel to the green. So I'm going to draw a parallel. When, it, when, it, when the line you're drawing turns green, it's parallel to the green axis. And now I know I'm going straight up and down. Red axis is there. Click there. I'm going to make a rectangle. Click back to the beginning. I've got a rectangle. Now you notice it filled in. All right, that's important because it made a face. That's how SketchUp works is once all these points are connected, it makes a face. If it's not connected, it's not turned gray, then it's not a face. Okay, so that's line tool. You can do freehand as well. Let's uh, take a look at what? Rectangle maybe. Here we, we can make a rectangle without having to click all four sides. Just click and drag it out and click again and then you get a rectangle. A fun one is push-pull. That's this button here. And you just click and then you can lift up and make it three-dimensional. Up until now it's just been two-dimensional. So you will you can push and pull on any face and change the size of Oh, I was to hit control. You can click and make uh, change the size of your shape. If I draw a line through here, then I can do push pull again, and I can just push and pull up that part. All right. So that is the basics of how to get into SketchUp. Now, how do you turn this in? You're going to want to save it here. And so once you, the, the way this is going to work is you'll have a, have a video that you're going to be working on. You're going to cut, do exactly the steps that are in the video, like do this. So right now what you can do is uh, you'll, you'll do the drawing and then you, say, you have to save it. Save it periodically. Do that as you're going. And then you're going to say save it to your drive. Yes. Save to your drive. Click yeah. And click where you want to keep it. So let's just save it uh, out in the open here and we'll just call it whatever you want to call it call it um, something that will identify it so you make it it's easy enough for you to find it later so sketch up number one for example uh, number one or whatever you want to call it 
and then you're gonna hit save I believe that's what that is so now it's saved now it's on my Google Drive so now what I can do is once I have it complete and once I've done the assignment I can go now back to Google uh, classroom and in the assignment I can click to add a file and I add from the Google Drive the same drawing that I just worked on so in if I were to be a student in this in the classroom I could find SketchUp number one on there and turn it in with my assignment and that's why I'll, how I'll know if you've done the assignments is you have to turn it in by saving it to your Google Drive and then attaching it to the assignment in the Google Classroom. Okay, that I think gives the idea. I want you guys to fiddle around with these uh, tools that you have here and just try to make something. The push-pull button is here, there's other options, there's move and all these other ones. You might not get them right away, but one thing that you see is that in the bottom corner, bottom down here, it, it tells you some things about how to use this. Select the face or edge to offset. So I'm going to select the face or edge, and then it allows you to make another line out like that. So you can do stuff like that. Uh, you can learn how to use the tools just by looking down here as well. There is also a uh, in instructor over here on the right, that little hat. That'll give you some more in-depth instructions how to use these tools. The whole point of this is to be able to be aware of this program that you have access to and maybe you can learn how to use it to do some uh, 3D printing, to do modeling, to come up with ideas, to share ideas. It's a great tool for 3D modeling so I'm hoping that this will be a good, you'll learn, uh, learn how to use it well. I'm going to save that and that's going to be the end of my tutorial. Whatever you end up drawing here, turn it in with this assignment. This is a test to make sure that this is all going to work before we actually get into the nitty-gritty of SketchUp. Have a good day.